Greetings, everybody. T. Pryor once again. We finally breached the 20s of another season. Only a handful of episodes left to go, and we're getting closer and closer to the big movie. The hype just keeps getting more and more real, especially since they recently released the soundtrack. I'd already been told that I wanted to go into episode 21 blind, but a good friend told me that Fluttershy was a big focus in this one. So, like with Fluttershy leans in, I feel like I owe it to her. Without further ado, let's jump right into Season 7, Episode 20, A Health of Information. I also learned the cores in this one, so I'm hoping my rhyming intro last time wasn't premature. Let's get to it! Hello, Flutters, Zakora. I never would have found the crisscross moss without you. Of course, I know where it grows, so it's not much to ask. Though retrieving it has been a difficult task. Looks oh, like it. Oxen visiting Sweet Feather Sanctuary next week will surely appreciate it. It really adds a shine to their coat. Glad the sanctuary's still doing well, sweetie. There we go. Now, that wasn't so tough. Fluttershy, tell me, will this be enough? Gee, I don't know. It's a pretty big pack, so maybe enough to fill up this sack? Oh! <laughs> oh my, you're rubbing off on me, Zagora. Uh oh. Zagora! Oh no, oh no, oh no! Are you alright? I only got wet. At least now I can easily grab all the crisscross moss there is to be had. Well, oh, that's good. What the? <gasps> What's happening to you? Honestly, I'm seeing spots. It's hard to tell, but suddenly I don't feel so well. Oh no. Zakora, what's happened to you? Ugh, that's an unpleasant perspective. All right, Zakora, let's have a listen to the old ticker. Hmm. Whoa, that ticker's playing one mean Is solo. Serious, Doctor? Well, that wasn't a good sign. I can't believe a flower did this. I take back thinking it was pretty. <coughs> good lord, what did it do to you? Mm -hmm. We're looking for any color other than red. Phew. <gasps> oh, jeez. Oh, it's just as I thought. I'm afraid you have a very rare disease called Swamp Fever. Swamp Fever? Tell me, Doctor, what should I do? I've never heard of Swamp Fever, mind you. Unfortunately, very little is known about the disease. Except, of course, its symptoms. Change of coat, coughing bubbles, shock sneezing, confusion, and the last stage, the afflicted turn into the very trees that drop the disease-spreading flower. Wait, what?! Is there anything that can be done for such a terrible conundrum? A cure has yet to be discovered. I'm sorry, Sakura. Oh, no. It's a lot to take in. I'll leave you two to discuss. Sakura, this is all my fault. If you hadn't been helping me get the crisscross moss, you wouldn't have gotten swamp fever. I'm so sorry. Oh, Flutters, don't you blame yourself. Play. These things happen all the same. I refuse to accept that. There has to be some phone you can help you. Oh. There's a healer of legend who never would fail, but I only know her from ancient folk tales. Oh? Mystical and masked, she came in the night and cured everything from hoof cough to fur blight. What became of the healer, no pony knows, for she disappeared ages and ages ago. The mystical mask, of course! My mystical mask? Whenever I was sick in bed. There's so many accounts of her power to heal. She can't just be a legend. I think she's real. If then she's the best chance we've got! I'm going to find her. And I know just the pony who can help. Her royal studiousness. I knew it. Twilight! Twilight! Hey there, Twi. 
so sorry to bother you. What you making? Are, are you cooking? Yeah, Spike and I are having a cook-off. Oh! Blew her sweet potato muffins out of the water. Hey, Spike. I'm glad you're here, Fluttershy, because we're going to need a second opinion about that. Uh, that's great and all, Twy, but she's here on um, urgent business. Delicious. Score has swamp fever and there's no cure and it's all my fault and the only pony you can cure is the mystical mask and I need your help to find her. Uh, I still refuse to blame you, so darling. You the cauliflower bites, right? Sorry, little buddy. That's gonna have to wait. Uh, that's the last book on ancient ponies and still no mention of the mystical mask. It's never a good sign when books fail Twilight. Yes, and the books on rare diseases, the books on rare plants, and the entire section on bog habitation. Where could she be? I have to look through every book in the entire library, but I know we'll figure it out. It's for Zakora, Twy. Are you kidding me? Not even a passing mention? Have you found anything yet, Twilight? 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 This is no time for sleeping! I'm fine. Fluttershy, you know that I want to help Zakora, but I think we'd be a lot better off if we got some sleep. We've been at this for hours. Maybe, so but who knows how much time we have. How late it had gotten. No problem. I'll grab you a pillow and... Oh, no, no, no. I meant you should sleep. I can't rest until Zakora is healed. Oh, I understand flutters. how you feel, but I still think we'd have more luck if we tried again in the morning. Just promise me you'll take a break soon. Mm -hmm. I appreciate how you feel, <sighs> Pumpkin, but night, don't overtax yourself. <sighs> Nine by thirteen inch pen. Oh, good morning. What's all the morning, Spike. Here, ladies. Sorry, but I figured out who the mystical mask is. You did? You did? All I had to do was cross-reference a book about masks with another book on ancient equestrian healers, then use a third book to translate it all from Old Ponish, and there it was! Sakura was right! The mystical mask wasn't just a legend. The mystical mask was Mage Meadowbrook! <gasps> whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold on a minute! Mage Meadowbrook? That's another familiar name. Didn't Starlight claim that her fake staff of sameness belonged to her? So you found out who she is! That's great! I am so proud of you, Flutters! Oh, the ancient sorceress from Hayseed Swamp? We studied her at Celestia School! Are you sure? Absolutely! Mage Meadowbrook wasn't just a sorceress, she was also a healer, and back then, healers wore masks so they wouldn't get sick themselves! Wow! I am so incredibly proud of you for using your research skills to figure this out! So am I! Work lived ages ago and didn't she disappear? Mm hmm but if we go to Hayseed Swamp, maybe we can find something she left behind! Something that could lead to a cure! It so let's go to Hayseed shot. Swamp! I guess it's possible! We have to try! I've got a route all planned out and on the way we can check up on Zakora and then- Whoa, whoa, whoa! We're leaving now? Of course now! Who knows how long Zakora has? Bubbles. But Fluttershy, you haven't slept, and that's a long journey. There's no use trying to talk me out of this twilight. Well, <laughs> even no a little rest bites. might help. Can we at least grab some breakfast? I packed cauliflower bites. Aw, no sweet potato muffins. Aw. Ate them all. They were actually really good. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Spike. And that's when I really How are you holding up, Sakura? Actually, Mage Meadowbrook. <clears throat> that's marvelous, Fluttershy. I am quite impressed. While you're gone on your journey, I'll try not to be worried. Whoa! Hold on a minute. That didn't rhyme. Zakora didn't rhyme. Oh my God! She must be getting worse. <gasps> Oh no, Zakora, you didn't rhyme. You must be getting worse. That's what I no, said! No, no, not at all. Something, something, mall? <gasps> Yikes! <gasps> That's it. We have to go now. Lead the way, Fluttershy. Hang in there, Zakora. Uh -huh. Oh no. Flutters is stressed and sleep deprived. 
You hang in there too, darling. Oh! This must be Hayseed Swamp! So, where do you think Meadowbrook lived? Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe there's some pony we can ask. Is any pony even Maybe around? The only ponies here. Wait! I recognize that tree! Oh? From your research? Oh, yes! This has to be it! It's just like the illustrations of her home! Any pony who lives in a tree is okay by me. Heh! <laughs> well said, Twy. Uh, well, if the doorway is sealed up, we just have to dig our way in. Back up, Twilight! I don't want you to get hurt! Damn, Flutters, you're getting a little manic. Or we could try the handle. <laughs> it really blends in with the bark. <laughs> Good grief. Wow, wow. look at this place. Like this place has been abandoned for years. <gasps> Twilight! Night. Hey! It's the plant that got Sakura sick! Sakura swamp fever! Hmm. I wonder if Meadowbrook was looking for a cure for swamp fever too! <gasps> Do you think she found it? Well, I hope so. Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. That's exactly what I'm talking about! You're making your excited squeaking noise! That didn't sound like a squee. Squeaking noise. What the? Y'all can stop screaming now. Didn't mean to scare you. I do that a lot. Who in the world are you? Creepily in the dark. Well, both, I suppose. Name's Cattail. Pleased to meet you. Cattail, huh? But um, may I ask, why are you in Mage Meadowbrook's home? Oh, I take care of the place. I ain't much of a cleaner, but from what I hear, my kin wasn't either, so I doubt they'd mind a few cobwebs in our ancestral home. <gasps> You're related to Meadowbrook? Mage Meadowbrook? Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness, Twilight, we did it! Not only did we find Mage Meadowbrook's old house, we actually found one of her descendants. Who'd have thunk? I would not have guessed it. So you're looking for some kind of cure, huh? Well, now, I know Meadowbrook was known to always be writing in the journals. If she had the cure you want, I reckon that's where it'd be. Sounds on, great! I'll show you the library. Library? No, <laughs> you just said the magic word, Cattail. Oh. Oh, well, libraries come in all shapes and sizes. True. This is good. It'll take us less time to go through everything. Also true. Today, my mom made me eat peas. Peas are yucky. <laughs> yeah, they season. are. Unless she found a cure when she was a fool. I met a colt today. He pulled my mane, so I put a frog on his head. Also, wow, Meadowbrook was kind of a I brat, wasn't she? <sighs> Wait, listen to this. Today, I tried again to brew an unsniffle elixir. And so this was Meadowbrook. Brought. Aw, bless you. Well, look at that! Meadowbrook, I think it's time you had this. My very own healer's mask! You Ooh! Mm -hmm. Swamp fever! It? Mother calls it swamp fever. We've been trying to find a cure, but it hasn't been easy. <laughs> oh no, it's spreading. <laughs> I fear if we don't find a cure soon, Everpony will be in grave danger. This is bad. With Mother sick, I didn't think I'd ever find a cure, but staring at those cursed flowers today, I saw something. Whoa, what kind of bugs are those? They're immune to it! Flash bees! Flash bees? I 
realize the flower's poison didn't affect the flash bees, and if they were immune to swamp fever, their honey could be the cure. Of course. Wow, she's nimble. Uh oh. Ouch. Oh jeez. Aggressive defending their hive. I didn't know how I was going to get it. Here goes nothing. Oh boy. You got it. I cured mother and the rest of the bayou. It was the greatest feeling I've ever experienced and I promise to dedicate my life to curing ponies all over Equestria. And wow. She did just that. Right up till she disappeared without a trace. So all we have to do is find those aggressive flash bees and get them to give us their honey. But how? Of course, it doesn't say how she did that. Well, we saw she used her mask. What? Is my mane messy? I know I haven't <gasps> slept in a while. Flutters! You've caught swamp fever! Oh my poor Fluttershy! Not you too! Huh? This is bad. This is really bad. Are you sure these are necessary? What? I said, are you sure these are necessary? Yes! I won't risk infecting you or Cattail. What you can't risk is getting any sicker. If you don't rest, your symptoms will only get worse. Please, honey, just mm -hmm. get some you sleep. You really should rest up before going up against those flash bees. They are nasty critters. Um, you don't know this about me, but I'm pretty good with animals. And besides, Dogtail? Cattail. Oh um, no, she's getting right worse already. I have to help her, just like Meadowbrook helped her mother and all those Bayou ponies long ago. Waters, oh, don't do as this as to yourself. Took care of other ponies. I'm sure she also took care of herself. You're not gonna change my mind, Twilight! Sweetie! Being sick, she sure is strong. That's because she really feels responsible for all this, Cattail. Are you sure you don't want me to come with you? No, it's too dangerous, Twilight. Besides, I've already gotten one friend hurt. I won't let it happen to another. Aw, oh, Flutters. Okay, Fluttershy, you can do this. Good luck, honey. Mind over matter. This is hard to watch. Careful now. Hello, Flash Bees. I was hoping I could get some of your honey. Please? Oh no, don't you dare! Well, I'm sorry, but I really need it. Flutters! You little bastards! Just have to use the stairs! The stairs not working on them. You really are aggressive. Enough, please! I can't stand seeing you suffer like this! Oh dear. <laughs> Fluttershy! Uh, oh, thank happened? God. Where am I? Are you okay, I'm Pumpkin? So glad you're okay. You're still in Meadowbrook's tree. You fainted, but Twilight shot some magic up and caught you. It was crazy. Good Thanks, Twy. <laughs> Have you heard from Zakora? Is she okay? Uh, we got word your zebra friend has started sprouting leaves. No! It's already turning into a tree? I thought we'd have more time. Actually, you've been asleep for three days. Three days? days? Mm-hmm. You were asleep so long we were afraid you wouldn't be able to move when you woke up. But thankfully you just wore yourself down. Oh dear, we have to get back to the hive. I've wasted so much time and- Now hang on there, Fluttershy. 
Those flash bead critters are tricky. Cattail's right. I can't even use magic to calm them down. We'll have to find another way to get the honey. We've tried everything from disguises to things I won't even speak of. Ugh. He's Ugh, been through I a won't lot ask. The past three days. Wait, disguises. The mask. I knew it! Shit. I know how she did it! I know how Meadowbrook got the honey! Now we've got it! This is how Meadowbrook got the honey from the flash bees. She threw a mask at him? I wouldn't recommend that. No, <laughs> Cattail. the aren't aggressive around the queen bee, and this mask has the same stripes that she does. Genius! That's brilliant! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa. There's no time to waste. Hooves crossed. You got this, Flutters. Oh, golly. I can't watch. <coughs> Mind over matter. Mind over matter. <laughs> and a buzz buzz to you, Flash Bees. We've got the honey, honey! Yes! She's cured! Oh, I do feel fine. And this honey is divine. Welcome back, Sakura! Welcome back, my friend. Thank you, Fluttershy, for all you endured. If not for you, I would not be cured. I'm oh, proud of you, if sweetie. It wasn't for me, you wouldn't have been sick in the first place. Regret is not what you should feel, because on this journey, you've learned a great deal. That's, That's right. True. I certainly learned that if you don't take care of yourself, you won't be able to take care of any pony else. In fact, if I had rested, like Twilight suggested all along, maybe I would have thought to use Meadowbrook's mask sooner. Well said. <laughs> Please tell me you found the cure. <laughs> oh boy, here we go again. Wow. This was a great episode for Fluttershy. It was hard watching her overtax herself the way she did, but she was doing it all for Zakora's sake. I didn't think it was possible for me to be any prouder of her than I already was, but this episode proved me wrong. While helping Fluttershy, Zakor ended up getting sick with Swamp Fever, an illness known both for having no documented cure and for ending by its victims turning into trees. Feeling responsible for allowing this to happen, Fluttershy went to Twilight for help in finding a healer known as the Mystical Mask, who turned out to be none other than Mage Meadowbrook, who we first heard about back in Season 5. The two set out for Hayseed Swamp to see if she left behind a cure for Swamp Fever. There, they found Cattail. Meadowbrook's descendant, and journals detailing Meadowbrook's own battle against Swamp Fever. She discovered that Flash Bee Honey was the only cure, but hadn't written down how to get past the aggressive drones to get at it. This wasn't helped by the fact that Fluttershy herself had contracted Swamp Fever, for her disorientating her along with stress and lack of sleep. Despite these setbacks, she tried to get the honey herself, only to pass off from exhaustion for three days. However, that rest was exactly what she needed, as it allowed her to properly focus on coming up with a solution. Meadowbrook's healer's mask was striped the same way as the Flash Bee Queen, so the drones wouldn't be aggressive towards her while wearing it. With that, Flarshire was able to get the honey at last, curing herself and Zakora. She'd also learned a valuable lesson along the way. You should know to take care of yourself if you want to take care of others. Fluttershy's stress over feeling responsible for Zakora's illness, not getting any sleep, and then contracting Swamp Fever only hindered her sensibilities. Even though we didn't know how long it would take the Swamp Fever to reach its final stage, she should have taken Twilight's advice from the start and rested, so as to set about it with a clear mind. If she had, she would have known to use Meadowbrook's bird mask from the start. Still, her sheer determination to find a cure for Zakora from researching Meadowbrook, to facing down those flash bees even when sick, 
is really something to be admired. Never stop making me proud, Fluttershy. A crazy, suspenseful, lore-filled episode, all in all. And I just hope they brought back enough honey to cure the doctor. Until next time, see ya!